Hey guys, it's the Fisher Brad. And I'm Trevor from the Dudes and Film Podcast. And today we're gonna to teach you how to catch, clean, and cook pike. Northern pike are a very aggressive fish. They actually strike at the tops of the water mostly. So we're gonna be wanting lures that can actually stay close to the top. Today, we're gonna to be running Rapala Husky Jerks, size five maps, as well as some spoons. Right here is actually a 5 8 blue fox spoon. To start off today, I'll actually be starting with small lures first and I'll be running a size three Meps Aglia spinner with a squirrel tail. So Trevor, what are you running today? Um, so I actually have a, a custom homemade lure. It's a strawberry cupcake with some uh, pink frosting. It's gonna work great. Oh, um, all right, I'm gonna tie you up with something different. I'm using a Rapala because apparently a cupcake doesn't catch pike or something. My sponsor the Fisher Brad for letting me use his lures and gracefully letting me lose them today pull on it how did you do that like the, the water is down there so I don't mean to brag but I really lost a Rapala Husky jerk which you've probably seen a Panda Martin uh, I also lost a Pantheon and um, I lost a pink frosted cupcake People definitely stand over here. You know, were you standing over here? Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Yep, that's a pike. There we go. something to drink what's it supposed to do with this you uh use it and you drink out of the river what yep right. that's the mouthpiece you should be familiar with that they you know ace mountain this tastes like freaking dasani man I got one. Oh, it's a pike. There we go. Cool. Big enough to keep. Guys, can you believe that I caught this pike? I really didn't think he was gonna catch a fish. But anyways, now we're gonna show you guys how to clean them. All right, first things first, taking our knife, grabbing the head tight. We're gonna go ahead, make an incision right behind that gill plate of the head. So about right there. Go all the way down to the backbone. Right there, that first cut. Now that we're on the backbone, we're just gonna go all the way straight down. This is our first boneless fillet. I'm gonna go straight down right here. And there we have it. Now we're gonna do our next two boneless fillets. So you can see the bones right there down the line and also right there down the line. So you're just gonna take your knife and you're gonna go vertical against those bones. And you're just gonna keep it all the way against it.
There we go. Going around those fins. Right there is our second boneless fillet. All right, all righty, we're gonna do the other side now. And same thing, we're just gonna go against that bone line right there. Let me show that bone line again. Against the bone line right there. Now we're gonna show you guys how to make the last two boneless fillets. There we go, another boneless fillet. After you're all done filleting the fish, if you actually caught a really nice sized fish, you could actually create a trophy with it. You're easily able to make a pike head mount in under 10 minutes. I actually have a video called How to Mount a Pike Head, so look it up, 10 minutes or less. Welcome to Trevor's Kitchen. Actually, I'm just kidding, I'm in Brad's garage. Right now, we've got some black pepper. We've got some lemon juice. I guess it's not open yet. Also, I've got some salt. 26 ounces here, 55 cents at your local dollar store. Three ounces of pepper, $2.50. That's blown up more than this flamingo here. And last but not least, I've got the Grill Chef Master. You can't find this in your grandma's kitchen. Make the baseline right over here. We go ahead, lay out our pipe place with the skin on the bottom. There we go, our five boneless fillets. Da, 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 da. We're gonna add the salt first. Just gonna kind of sprinkle it everywhere a little bit. Not too much, but just enough to get it over everywhere, cover it all the way. Next, we're adding the black pepper. Make sure you use the small holes, not the giant hole. You'll regret it. You literally will like just choke the whole time. Next, we're adding the garlic powder. Just a little bit of sprinkling. And the last step, adding some lemon juice. Just gonna, <laughs> still not. It wasn't open yet, it's officially open. Just gonna kinda squirt it everywhere. On each fillet a little bit. Oh yeah. Perfect. All right, we're gonna go ahead, wrap around these corners. Second sheet, over top that. Perfect. Perfect. And now, Trevor's gonna start the fire. All right guys, here's the thing. Normally I wouldn't encourage putting gasoline on a fire and then lighting it, but this is for your entertainment. I gas this thing up more than your Uncle Bert at Taco Bell after eating three burritos. Oh yeah. Did you even put gasoline on there? It probably dried up already. <laughs> Trevor, put more on the, oh, there we go, perfect. Put the fish on it. <laughs> Get the fire started, just take that fish with your grill master or your grill chef, whatever you prefer, just throw it on top of that fire. It doesn't matter. Just uh, make sure you don't touch the metal part, it's hot. It'll cook just fine in the aluminum foil. Uh, you don't have to worry about it burning too much when it's in the aluminum foil. So. Once you put this on here and you have it cooking, let it sit for about five minutes, and then you're just gonna wanna flip it over, just switch it over to the other side. All right, so we've had this sitting here for about five minutes, we flipped it over, and look at that. Oh, you can see it juicing in the corner right there. All right, so we had this on the fire for about 10 minutes, about five minutes on each side uh, over the fire. As you can see, the aluminum foil is uh, nice and black now. I'm gonna open it up and see how it looks. Fold this up, looks like it's gonna be hot. Just flip it over. Yeah. I'm just gonna grab the aluminum foil. How well did that go? Yeah, it didn't go up. I've got each side here flipped over for you. So the meat side, you're gonna have a little bit of some brown, uh, you know, some blacks. It's not burnt, 
it's still gonna be just as tasty. Scale side should be nice and gray. That's how you know you've cooked it well on each side. We got our Slurpees just in case we burn our mouths. We got nice liquidy to like satisfy us. All right, bite time. Gonna... Mm, that's good. Mm -hmm. Now we're eating it just raw like this, but you could even put this on a sandwich. Raw. raw. Bro, he's no. We're eating it by itself, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching my first ever catch, cook, and clean video for my 130th video. And uh, I'm Trevor. Follow me on YouTube with uh, Dudes in Film and let us know who you like better out of the two of us. I mean, I am the one that caught the bigger fish here. And uh, I don't I'm, even know how you hooked I, the fish. I am the one that also started the fire uh, and, and cooked the fish. So, you know, obviously there's an answer here, but let us know anyway.